Hey guys, it's Dan Nate from Herbert Hacks, and today we will be giving you a review on the next play, Docking Clock, and it is 10:22. So take it away, Nate. Okay, so the Docking Clock has two speakers on the sides, one here and one here, and it has a solely backlit LED clock. That's kind of a bad thing if you sleep in the dark because if you're sleeping and you're on your side and you see it then it's going to blind you one, one of the other cool features is that it does have a dock that will charge an iPod so as you can see I was listening to Rich Man um, so yeah it does charge it and it will play music but I'm not going to be able to do that because of copyright um, so on the top you have a power button that will turn on the speakers which I can't do function changes the function you can listen to AM radio FM radio your iPod or an auxiliary which plugs into the back and that would be and you that would be how you listen to an iPod shuffle um, and then you have skip backwards play pause skip and then your volume keys the volume on the iPod itself does not do anything Whenever we click on set, we can set an alarm right now. You can set up to two alarms, and you can set it to your iPod, FM, AM, or a buzzer. And then you can also have two, so, and then you can set the time. Um, one of the things about it is, um, a lot of times, these things don't work with the iPod Touch. Let me get this out. Okay, so we finally got that off. So, a lot of times these docks don't work with the iPod Touch because there is a different amount of pins. And also the iPhone. Let's see if that works. So, yeah. Nope. Doesn't work. Does not support charging. So, and then you have your code. Passcode. So, that won't work for you if you have an iPod Touch. Or an iPhone. Okay, so, it comes with a lot of docks, but this was released before the iPhone, the iPod Nano 3rd generation was released, so I had to use the one that came with it. So... Yeah, doesn't match. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it also has a video out feature right here. Um, I haven't used it. I've heard that it won't work with the iPod Nano 3rd Gen. So, um, and then you have your power and radio antenna. I hate those weird an wired antennas. So, another one of the bad things is that these buttons aren't very sensitive. So, like, if I play, sometimes it won't sense and you need to, like, press it in really, really hard. And also, some of my buttons have started to, like, come off just from wear and tear. And I've had this for, like, I don't know how long. Maybe not not quite a year and a half. But I would think that it should last a little bit longer considering it's only a clock and all you're doing is pressing buttons. So that's our review of the next play docking clock, and we'll see you next time. One more thing. This clock is $40. But I guess if you want to buy it or not, that is $40 on Amazon, that is. So uh, thanks for watching.